Understanding the phrase, it's overpriced, simplifying English for learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very common phrase in English, it's overpriced. This phrase is often used in everyday conversations, especially when talking about shopping or buying things. By the end of this video, you'll understand not only what this phrase means but also how to use it in different contexts. Let's dive in. It's overpriced, refers to something that is being sold at a price that is higher than its actual value or worth. This phrase is a subjective opinion, which means it can vary from person to person. For example, one person might think a designer bag is overpriced, while another might think the price is fair for the brand value. Key points. Subjective opinion indicates that the speaker believes the price is too high. Comparison to actual value implies that there is a mismatch between the price and the perceived worth of the item. To help you understand better, let's see how this phrase is used in different sentences. 1. Simple statement. I didn't buy the jacket because it's overpriced. 2. With reasoning, this phone is overpriced considering its features are quite basic. 3. Question form. Don't you think this coffee is overpriced? 4. Comparative usage. Compared to other brands, their products are always overpriced. Key points can be used as a standalone statement or with additional reasoning. Works in both declarative and interrogative sentences, often used in comparative contexts to highlight differences in pricing. Understanding synonyms and variations can help you enrich your vocabulary. Here are some alternatives. 1. That's too pricey. 2. This seems exorbitant. 3. They're charging an arm and a leg for this. Idiomatic expression. Key points. Synonyms offer different ways to express the same idea. Some expressions are informal or idiomatic. And that's it for today's lesson on the phrase, it's overpriced. We hope you now feel more confident using this phrase in your daily English conversations. Remember, language learning is all about practice, so try using this phrase next time you talk about prices or shopping. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.